Welcome ladies and gents <clears throat> to another magical moon <laughs> message. <laughs> the moon is in Cancer and the sun is in Virgo. We are beginning this Virgo season with a conclusion, which is a very bittersweet and symbolic understanding of where we're headed. The moon in Cancer is 11th house to the sun in Virgo. There's a real emotional depth you'll be feeling into as you emotionally contemplate where everybody in your life has got you fucked up. You see, I can be spiritually kumbaya and talk about positivity, but in order to really be positive, you need to identify energy in your life that produces negativity. And if there's one zodiac sign that exemplifies the literal list of people who got them fucked up, it's Virgo. Y'all thought I was joking in that live. Y'all thought I was joking in that transit talk when I was talking about, yeah, Virgo's gonna get their list. And they're gonna be like, okay, these are the hundred ways you've got me fucked up. If you look at part eight, D, don't worry, there's a Z. Like, Virgo will give you every single detail, the way you snore when you don't even sleep, the way you snore when you sleep, the way you just talk for no reason at all. Like, Virgo will go in, Virgo will break it down. Now, if you want real life proof of this, just go to a Sun in Virgo, Young Pharaoh's page, okay, at a university. He literally put out a video recently, list of people who I fuck with and people who I don't fuck with, basically. You know what I'm saying? And like, when a Virgo does that, it gets very dangerous. Once they put that pen in the paper and it becomes real, like, you'll understand why they're masters of reality. So, the, the moon in Cancer, if we think about the 11th house of collective support, community, hopes and wishes, not just due to a genie making your wish come true out of nowhere, hopes and wishes out of the network of your friends coming together to contribute what they individually contribute, which through teamwork makes the dream work, hopes and dreams. This transit is gonna have you, as you are integrating mastery of you into your behavior, have you feel where you belong. Because cancer is an individual power. The individual power of feeling and sensing emotions, emotionally. And honestly, the true, like that's how water signs got nerfed. Water signs are actually so uh, mysterious, y'all got nerfed. So cancers, you've been lied to and said you're emotional, but actually cancer is the function of psychic power. It's just psychic power is not recognized. And so even though everyone has basic psychic power, literally through the vehicle of feeling, right? That's what makes it mysterious because you can't see feelings. They're, they're kind of felt. So like this individual power is you feeling who belongs in this change of your behavior. But since this is individual, it's really more where you feel you belong, being the master that you are becoming. So that was really more so of like the logical way of how to see it if we talk about transits. Now, realistically, the moon is opposing Pluto and you're gonna have that trine in Neptune. So like the level of psychic mastery that you're literally just gonna feel in less than three days is gonna be very uncomfortable with the King Kunx to Neptune. I'm sorry, Saturn and Jupiter, where now psychically, you're literally telepathically engaging with the collective as a whole while you're an individual in social environments. And this is gonna be, feel really weird because you're actively expanding your brain's processing ability to make sense of an extra dimensional conversation or aspect like that while still processing your physical reality. Jupiter and Aquarius is literally expanding your knowledge of now how you in this physical third dimensional realm interact with, through the causal realm, communication and contact with vibes and frequencies. 
I don't want to really specify exactly how, because now at this level, there's literally an infinite application, but you know what I'm talking about. And this is going to feel nothing but weird because cancer is not the psychic of the Zodiac for nothing. And so now that Gemini and the moon transit enlightened you to how real this change of behavior is and how much more on point your magical ability is becoming, you're really going to feel it. You're going to individualize the emotions that has you literally feel the mastery. Because what's really happening here is at the 11th house, you're literally manifesting the purpose of the 10th. 11th house is rewards from career. You make a successful sale or project and the 11th house of course which links to the second house of manifestation is you celebrating the rewards usually with colleagues or manifesting the rewards from career which is very important because we started this virgo season off with a dirty full moon so when i say we're starting virgo season with a conclusion before the new moon cycle literally kicks off the transit, we're concluding through a balsamic phase, releasing old aspects of your behavior before you flip it and literally experience the change during the new moon. Word of caution though, you're special. And the moon in Cancer is gonna have you feel that. And I don't mean like a you're doo doo, I mean like you're very special. And because there's a uniqueness to your individuality, Whereas some people will love it and lick it like a honey bun and buttercups. Certain people will hate it for no reason. We're entering a very irrational realm. It's not really like air or earth that's based off of intellectual logic and what's really happening where there's a reason for everything. Water, you can, you'll just feel certain feelings just because. Like it doesn't have to follow a linear fashion. Water is generally irrational in this nature when really though it's psychic. So you're going to be feeling energetic projections. We start this moon in Cancer off with a square to Chiron and Aries. Now we have Venus and Libra, Mercury and Libra as well to polish the raw savagery of how we feel. Because you have to think about it. When someone disrespects you, honestly, there's how you really want to tell it to them. But then in a social situation, it's like, you're lucky I'm around like my employer and like other people. What makes you do that? Did you ever think about what makes you do that? That is a social expectation. That's Libra. It's the power of Libra, where you could be an individual, but because now you're thinking and caring about other people through cancer of the action of caring, because now you're considering another person in your social space, it's going to literally polish how you would originally act. Okay, case in point, Mercury really is in Libra now with Venus before we enter Libra season. So the, the opposition of Pluto is going to have you feel very extreme feelings. Imagine arguing with someone who thinks like you're a decrepit loser because you believe what you believe, right? The moon in Cancer, of course, is going to now force extreme reactions from you. Whereas before we had the Aries energy and you literally can be like, suck my dick in a million different ways. Now we have the Venus energy and it's like, wow. You tried really well to wear that outfit. Nice. And I appreciate that. Let's go shopping soon so I can, you know, give you some pointers. And that was a horrible example. I'm not as witty as Lib Libra. Libra is intelligent as fuck. Libra is so intelligent. So like they'll flip it. They want Libra doesn't have to be vulgar because they'll literally just like compliment you, but they dissed you, but they dissed you, <laughs> but they fucking dissed you. But I'm referencing Libra more so of the social environment and expectations in a social environment. Venus is going to hook you up because Venus is in its dignity in Libra. And the moon is in its dignity in Cancer. This is literally dignity court. And this is going to get really hectic because after the actions you take here, you're going to manifest those actions that you will charge creatively in Leo, which is going to be one of the most dangerous balsamic phases opposite Saturn and Jupiter. And we're at war. But here's the thing. 
This is your victory. I want you to understand that at this stage of your mastery, you're literally bringing full circle the individual feeling of how special you know you are. And at this 11th house aspect, you're literally completing the psychic activation of your abilities and superpowers. Aries is individual. Cancer is metahuman. So this is going to activate at a superhuman level a, a, re a receptivity within how you really feel about yourself in ways you'll be able to, in Virgo season, practically utilize to smack the living shit out of somebody with your aura. Not even with your hands. With your aura. With your aura. And that slap was so holy. All that negativity and toxicity got smacked off him. I really don't mean to be violent like this. I'm just gonna blame that on Chiron and Aries because you really have to channel this. There's a lot of wounded egos. <laughs> A lot, of, a lot of the negativity that you're feeling projected and will feel very powerfully is coming from wounded egos, especially from you in ways that just following the integrity of your soul, you may have just inadvertently bruised egos because they're just not, they don't got it like that. Some people actually don't live up to the integrity, <laughs> right? Some people don't live up to the integrity. And just walking in the right can expose that, even though that's not what you're trying to do. So keep that in mind too. But what you really want to understand is what's coming full circle is the full glow up of the two full moons in Aquarius we had. And so in the short time that you restarted the lunar cycle in order to wind up this extraordinary change of your behavior and lifestyle, like literally by the end of Virgo season, the way you live your life will literally be unrecognizable. You can, you can literally think Uranus and Taurus in that. Now you have unconventional values that if any sane person heard will be like, nigga, you're fucking crazy. And if they don't say that, you're not doing it right. I swear, I promise. So this is the stage I'm trying to tell you guys. The reason why this is significant is after we finish this 11th house aspect in Cancer, you're literally activating extra dimensional psychic power from within your own self that will fundamentally transcend, fundamentally transcend the way you feel about what you can do in this life. That's why the balsamic phase literally releases it. Now it's like, oh shit, I've activated deeper psychic power. Now my approach to certain things I fell about completely different. Now I literally have to release my old behavior because I'm stepping into a new cycle where I can literally live with this new stuff. I swear to God, I swear to God, I swear to God, I swear to God. You're not even supposed to swear to God. I swear to God, I swear to God, nigga. I'm just joking. I mean, I'm not, but like, yeah, this is the thing. This is what you've been waiting for. But it's a mini boss battle because you're going to get jumped by collective vibrations who think you sweet and don't know that you're a one man army or a one, a one woman army. OK, seriously. At the soul level, you're going to be really playing out internally so you can say that these are subconscious reflections of what you believe the collective feels about you. So maybe it's not like an actual telepathic battle. It's just a reflection of the internal, okay? People who say that, tell them to suck your dick. This is a real telepathic battle. Like if you don't feel schizophrenic in any way, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. It's not as simple as you just having a visual or audio hallucination. It's just coming to understand the nature of an extra dimensional causal realm where thoughts can non-locally be transmitted mostly in a subconscious level. So some people don't even have to be conscious of what you're doing because you're connecting more to the essence of it. So keep that in mind. <laughs> this is not a joke. This is not a joke, this is not a game. And I know a lot of you watching this are tapped into that. You're protecting your psychic space. You're clapping back. And so the moon in cancer is literally completing the mastery of your abilities where you're gonna feel it. You're gonna feel the power you're going to use that power opposite Pluto, transform your whole situation. And for all the years that I've been saying you're going to feel, you're going to activate supernatural abilities, you're going to feel it today.
Peace.